Newton Marin at the present, present time. And, uh, I came from Pakistan originally. Uh, from Pakistan I came to Scotland and I lived in Western Isles uh, for 42 years. I, I was living in a small village in Faisalabad district. At that time it was Faisalabad district. Nowadays it's in Tobatik Singh. I <clears throat> came here because in Pakistan in those days there was not enough work for people to uh, to earn a living, so I thought I will emigrate, and I was fortunate enough to get uh, get a crossing to Scotland. So I came to Scotland and settled. How long ago was that? That was in 1957. Well, I came from Pakistan first, from Karachi to uh, London, and from London I came to Glasgow on the plane, and from here from Glasgow I went uh, to Western Isles by train first from here to Allah, uh, from here to Malik and from Malik I got a boat and then we went to Kailaf al Khalish from there I got another boat to go to Western Isles. So I chose Western Isles because one of my relatives was living there and he was the only person I knew in Britain so when we came from Pakistan we needed somewhere to live and somewhere to someone to depend on and we thought he was the best person to go to. The people in Western Isle were very kind people. They were very accommodating, very kind, and very nice people. They were not nasty. They were, you know, being kind, they were always were helpful. There was no color bar or anything in that. In that. Still, there is no color bar in Western Isles. But they are very nice people. Because there is no industry in Western Isles, First of all, I decide, decided that I might come back to uh, Glasgow and start working here. Then eventually, I thought, you know, best ways to, to try was, to, first of all, to do some business in, in Western Isle. So I start peddling, you know, start selling stuff from door to door. And uh, I was very lucky that within a couple of years, I made a few hundred pounds to buy a shop. And then I start doing real business, you know, when I bought the shop. Because there was no, other, uh, there was nowhere else I can work. There was no industry. There was no other job opportunities. So this was the job I could do without asking anybody else. You know, I can go door to door and do do sell things to people. Um, that's why I decided to do business rather than working for someone else. From the beginning when I was paddling, my uncle had a shop there. We used to buy stuff from him and sell them out in the, out in the country. We didn't have to go anywhere. But when I bought my own shop, then we start buying stuff, you know, in Glasgow, in Manchester, in London, various places, you know. Well, in business, you, you really don't say who, where you want to buy. You buy where you get the best deal, you know. Whether it's a Jew, whether it's a Muslim, whether it's a Hindu or whatever, you know, wherever you can get the stuff at a reasonable price, you will buy it. And that's what we done ourselves. At one point when I bought the shop, I had a little bit difficulty because people didn't want to sell uh, any property to the colored people at that time. Um, I, I think about 50 different properties I put in offers which were not acceptable and I was always told that it was sold for a higher bid. But the last time when I bought first property, um, I was told that that property was sold for a higher bid. And uh, after about one month, uh, the, the solicitor wrote the letter to me saying that if I still want the property, uh, it can be available to you because the other buyer has, you know, went back on his word. Success only comes with honesty. That's the key, key word I'm telling you is honesty. Without honesty, you can't succeed in the world. You might succeed, you know, temporarily, you know, for a short period. But to be successful all your life, you have to be very honest. I was very honest with my work, in my business. I was never dishonest with my customers ever. And I was never dishonest with my suppliers ever. I was always honest with everybody, and I think that if you are honest, the customer will keep coming back to you. But if you're dishonest with the customer, the customer will go back, will never come, come back. First of all, I'm a Muslim at heart. 
and secondly i am a pakistani at heart but this is my adopted country i am faithful to this country also because it's my adopted country the country has done lot for me and i am faithful to this country also i will not advise young people to come to this country i would advise to to people in pakistan and the young people in pakistan to start working to sort out the country our own country and and work towards success of our own country rather than emigrating to any other country well i came here when my children went to university in glasgow in glasgow and they start working here they settle here and when we retire from our business we decided to come near them rather than be sitting in the island waiting for the children to come back so we moved here with the children and they are near us and we enjoy our grandchildren as well and uh, that's why we moved here for sake of our children future plans i'm a retired person so the <laughs> uh, we are going to stay here and that's it there is no going back to pakistan or anything like that well, my children you know they they only know this country uh, you know uh, they were bro- born and brought up in this country and they will not go anywhere else so it's, you know it's useless for us to go back and waiting for to meet each other that way so we want to be together as a unit when you get well off then people will respect you more maybe you know they will they will deal with you differently than they would you know otherwise if when you're poor when you don't have a good accommodation to live and you don't have a lot of money it was a good scene but it it worked for me you know i think that's what it is it it, it should work for anybody i would say i would advise young people today that whatever they want to do in life they should do they they should choose a profession what they like and once they will choose a profession then they will stick to it and work hard on it and work honestly there's there's only two way in success is firstly you must be honest secondly you must be working hard and you know if you got money don't say that you became well off still keep on working on it still keep on working on it and that's the way to success